Good morning and welcome to another edition of Web Wisdom Wednesdays. I'm Jason Douglas, Online Marketing Manager here at Spider Trap Online Marketing. This week we'll be doing part two of our Foursquare series. This week talking about Foursquare for the user. All right, here's a up close view of Foursquare on an iPhone. I am trying to check in this morning to Spider Trap Online Marketing. If you've been to a place before, it lists it under your favorites as it is under mine. If you don't see your place, your destination within this list here of places that are nearby based on the GPS within the phone, there's a search function right here that you can search for your destination. I'm just going to go in here and check in. You can post it to Twitter, you can share it with your friends, you can also connect it with Facebook as well. I'm just going to check in real quick and hide it from other people so nobody knows that I'm here. Great. I am officially checked in. I see that my coworker Brad Wellman is the mayor. And I also get to see who is here at the time. I see that Brad checked in an hour ago. And just an example, if I did not know Brad, I could click right here on his profile, get some information about him, how many mayorships he has, how many badges he has, ways to contact him. And this is one of the coolest features of Foursquare that depending on how much information you want to give out, I can connect with uh, Brad on Twitter, on Facebook, I can email him or even call or text in case we're at the same location and I want to meet up with him for whatever reason. That actually happened to me at a wild game where I met someone that I had been connecting with on Twitter often, but we saw we were at the wild game at the same time and we met up during an intermission and now I can consider that person a pretty good friend and it was all due to meeting in real life on Foursquare. Another cool feature about Foursquare is the tips area. Uh, this is a little more useful for restaurants and retail but when you're at a restaurant you don't know what to eat here's where you get the suggestions for whatever appetizer is good if the service is good or not if you're at a retail place if there's a special on clothing or whatever the specialty is the tips area is it's similar to Yelp but it all it consolidates it in one spot which is really the key here to four squares the consolidation part of it uh, here there's a tip on Spider Trap to remember to wear Argyle on Argyle Friday, of course. Uh, a great tradition here at Spider Trap. Well, there you have it. That's Foursquare for users. Uh, I'm Jason Douglas. Thank you very much for joining us on this uh, Web Wisdom Wednesday Foursquare series. Uh, you can always find us on our blog, spidertrap.com slash blog, on our Facebook fan page, or on our YouTube page. Make sure to tune in next week at noon for our next edition of Web Wisdom Wednesdays. Thanks again.